I was born and raised in West Virginia. Grew up there, went to high school there, and came to Wilmington for college and just never left. I love Wilmington because it's, it's got this small town vibe. I've lived in Tallahassee my whole life. Um, I went to high school here. I met my wife here, and uh, I don't think I'm ever going to leave Tallahassee. Hey, can you all get your seats? Pretty exciting we're here at Gen Blue, right? I mean, it's impossible kind of to quantify or describe the amount of hours that have gone into getting us to this actual point and the amount of work that everybody uh, around the various tables has put in to get us here. The next couple of days are going to be so super exciting because you're going to see a manifestation of Cobalt Banker that really none of us have really experienced in any recent history. Drum roll. Yes. Awesome. We are at 5,802 registrations. Wow. Clearly, we will get to our goal of 6,000, which is super exciting. It's three weeks before the start of Gen Blue, Coldwell Banker's annual global event. Others in the industry would call it a conference. They call it an experience, and rightfully so. Creating an experience that everyone feels like they're special and they're part of something unique is really a big thing for us this year. Say that again, what? So we say in our... <laughs> our message says, you know, get married by the king of Cobalt Banker. So you could go either way. It could be Elvis the king or Charlie the king. When you think of Las Vegas, you think of gambling, the shows, and of course, getting married. The idea is to stage a huge wedding party to kick off their closing night. Easier said than done. Especially when it's not clear who's going to officiate the ceremony. An Elvis impersonator? Or their CEO, Charlie Young? So no one wants to get married by Charlie. I think there's a little bit of a nervousness, all right? He's, he's the king of Coldwell Banker. Typically, I'm getting up um, very early. I usually get up at five or six. I either try to exercise or work out really early at that time or try to get some work done and sort of prep for the day. It's usually a hustle and bustle of, you know, hopefully we remember to pack lunch the night before, which we do. You know, just kind of getting everything together and getting everybody where they need to go. I got into real estate because well, first of all, I was, I've just always been drawn to it. I mean, I just remember being a little child and, you know, taking home books or watching, there was some channel that would scroll houses, you know, on cable, and I just would watch that stuff. I've always been really drawn to real estate. I think in everything that we do, in our brand, in our team, it's a reflection of how we work, how we treat our clients, how we treat our listings, and how much we care about what we do. On December 27th, 2010, Bruce Foster stepped into a Virginia gym determined to change his life. At 280 pounds, Foster realized that he needed to change his lifestyle to be able to play the sport he loves, basketball. He was actually going to go to college on a scholarship for basketball till he tore his ACL. Tearing his ACL broke his heart. It took a long time for me to recover from my injury and bounce back. I didn't know what I wanted to do other than basketball. I decided upon real estate because I didn't want to be gone from 9 to 6.30 every single day. I wanted to be, you know, at home with my family as much as I could, and real estate gave me that option. Bruce's dream now is to be the best real estate agent that he can be. I got involved with Caldwell Banker because I did research on different real estate companies in town. You know, I, I found that Caldwell Banker is one of the largest and most well-known um, brokerages in the world. For me to have a supportive team means everything just because of the fact that I can't do this industry by myself. You know, I can't learn it by myself. And my broker and different agents in my office are there to help me and make me a better agent. Being in the industry only a year and, and a half, you know, I've asked questions, probably thousands of questions. They were able to help me get to where I am right now in the industry. What I love most about Bruce is his heart. Bruce is very good at making sure that his clients and his customers are the star of the show. 
I like truthfully making people happy. I like seeing them smile. Putting on an event the size of Gen Blue takes practice. With only a week before the show, setting the right tone in light of recent events is still a work in progress. I want to address the fact that the last 30 days have been traumatic. With the catastrophic events in Southeast Texas, Florida, Southeastern United States coast, Mexico and the Caribbean, as well as a recent event here in Las Vegas. A general thought that hit me as I was listening to this. The, the whole Vegas shooting creates all sorts of complications. What are we doing to strike the right tone and the right mood? I also see the idea of paying homage to the current environment that mm -hmm. we're in right now. I don't know if Somebody to Love is the right song for that. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe y'all are making me do this. I have not watched any of these Gen Blue videos for years. This first one is from 2011. I was super pregnant. Hey, Jessica Edwards. One of the reasons Jessica selected Coldwell Banker is that she's got a really good marketing mind and she knows the value of the brand. Having Coldwell Banker as a partner, it's a pretty winning combination. I had started my video blog in 2009 and all these agents from across the country knew who I was, you know, from that. And so for me, it really showed me the power of social media very early on. I love the idea that real estate, there's no ceiling, there's no limit to what you can do in real estate. It's marketing, it's business, it's people, it's relationships, it's communication. Action. Hi, Crystal. Yes. Uh, can I call you Chrissy? No. That's too soon. Today, it's business as usual with a twist. It's the first day of production on the film that will open Gen Blue. I am um, Crystal Waters. I am a flight attendant on Evergreen Airlines. <laughs> and this is all you got? Listen, I don't care if it's got one seat, two seats, my buddy can fit in the overhead compartment. We have so many thousands of agents and brokers from around the world coming to have an experience with the brand. And if we don't start out big and bold and bad, we just don't want to let them down. So we feel like we have to do something really big, really fun, kind of put ourselves out there so that we can set this tone and set the stage for what's going to come at Gen Blue. Being actors is not their calling, but it has become part of their job description. After four films, they've mastered the art of having fun. But being funny on demand takes work and a healthy dose of humility. I am packing for Gen Blue Las Vegas. I'm very excited. I keep going back to Gen Blue every year because every single time I come back feeling energized. The relationships that I've made from Gen Blue have been amazing. Um, being able to connect with different agents across the country has been great. We always leave with something that we're able to integrate into our business. All right, here we go. Because of the uh, Las Vegas shootings, we felt that we needed to honor that, so we have a last minute surprise musical performance to open the show that uh, I guarantee is going to be a standing ovation. We are a couple days out from Gen Blue. We're getting there a bit early to film really cool stuff at an airfield. Today we're at a parking lot just outside of downtown Las Vegas. We've got a wire rig up here stunt rig to simulate free falling through the sky with both David and Mike. I'm doing this for the pure entertainment of all those attending Gen Blue. It's kind of cool being Elvis, you know? The only problem is I got to compete with Marine. You know, we got to figure out who's the better Elvis. If I look as good as I feel right now. After today, we only have 48 hours to finish it. What do you think of this guy? <laughs> well, that, he's the star of the show. What do I think when I think he's great? I love working with David. This is actually Charlie's first Gen Blue video debut. It's been a little cameo in the opening video as the pilot of the Flying Elvi. Uh, he thinks he's Maverick from Top Gun. Less than three days remain before the start of Gen Blue. Production on the second half of the film has gone according to plan. But there's little time for rest or relaxation, and the clock is ticking. Taylor Swift, Elton John, Billy Joel. They've all played the Garden Arena at the MGM Grand. Now it's Coldwell Banker's turn.
if they're nervous or feel any pressure, it doesn't show. That's just how they roll. So I've, I've officially, I, I now know how to post to Facebook. Hey, way to go, Charlie. I know, it's awesome. All Once right. again, Charlie, we're on camera. <laughs> so we are getting everything set up. This is construction day. We just loaded in. And now they're going to be putting all this up together for the next two days. And uh, hopefully it'll all be done by Tuesday. So this is Jerry with Galen Rice. We've been working together for like four, five years now. Five years now. Yeah. Jen Blue's the big one. Mm -hmm. And he always gets the job done. Mm -hmm. Jen Blue is a really important part of our culture. And Cole Banker, um, you know, there are so many real estate brands out there, and, and our agents can choose to affiliate with anyone, and we want to make them. Um, feel proud of affiliating with Coldwell Banker and this is just one way for us to showcase our culture and, and make sure that they understand being part of Coldwell Banker um, is different. What I've heard about Jim Blue is that it's a really cool conference with fantastic speakers and you know a good time to network and meet people. What I hope to gain from Jim Blue are you know friends. Um, I'm hoping to learn a lot from different brokers and have a fun time and even get to know my colleagues better. That's what I'm really excited to, you know, learn in Jim Blue. Jim Blue is definitely gonna be a bigger, much more fun party than this van, for sure. It was not hard to convince Tori at all to come to Vegas. So Tori has been with the team now working on three years and it's just an amazing relationship that's formed. It's like the perfect fit with Carolyn and I. And you know, Carolyn and I have worked together now for going on almost eight years. You just feel that connection and you feel that vibe and that synergy that the three of us have together. And it's just a truly, unique and just really awesome thing to have three just smart, strong, young, you know, women together, working together on a day-to-day -day basis. How are you today? Great, how are you? You did bring your badge, right? <laughs> yes, I believe so. It'll... We need to get lunch at some point, I mean, too. Should we, like, go get something to eat and then come back and unpack, and then Carolyn will be here? Yeah. I am off to get my badge this morning. Bruce is a Gen Blue rookie. Understanding the big picture and learning from his peers is why he's here. Yes, it is. Mastering the details, he's already got down pat. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm liking it. There's tons of excitement, um, tons of people talking. I was just talking with the lady from San Francisco who's a top producer, which was really cool. We, we connected, uh, I'll definitely reach out to her after the conference. I finished dress rehearsal um, in a couple hours. I'll be on stage with 6,000 people in the stands. Most of it is just the experience. That's why it's, you know, the Gen Blue experience. It's the ability for an agent to come into town from wherever they are around the world and experience the whole essence of what Cobalt Banker is. I say I bleed Cobalt Banker blue and I probably will forever, so. And just like that, it's game on for the blue team. The Garden Arena is packed. They're a team stacked with stars. And stars in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Our program is about to begin. In the wake of the tragic shooting in Las Vegas, a moment to remember those lost and honor their host city. City gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn. So get those stakes up high. There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there, and they're all living devil may care. And I'm just the devil with love to spare. Viva! Viva Las Vegas 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 Viva Las Vegas
Las Vegas with your neon flashing One armed band is crashing all those hopes down the train Viva Las Vegas turning day into night time Night into daytime if you've seen it once You'll never be the same again I'm gonna keep on the run, gonna have me some fun If it costs me my very last dime If I wind up broke, well I'll always remember that I had a swinging good time Well I'm gonna give it everything I got Lady luck, let the dice stay hot now Let me shoot a seven with every shot Come on! Viva Las Vegas! Come on! Viva Las Vegas! Yeah! Viva Las Vegas! Viva! Viva Las Vegas! You look like idiots. That's what you're really worried about? Kind of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a problem? Uh, no, all's good. Everything's good. <laughs> you, you guys didn't tell us you're like uh, the, the flying Elbon. You didn't ask. Woohoo! Time to fly, boys. Viva, 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 viva. The first day of Gen Blue is off to a great start. But the 6,000 plus brokers and agents in the audience didn't come here merely to be entertained. They came to be a part of something bigger than themselves. To be with friends, colleagues, family. Our culture is, it's a family. I mean, when we come to things like Gen Blue, it's 6,000 of my best friends. And I really, it sounds silly, but I really believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO, Charlie Young. We are the most iconic, respected, storied brand in all of real estate. <laughs> Nobody is in a better position to lead in the new era of real estate than Coldwell Banker. I think the, my favorite part of the general session would be the just looking around the room and being part of just this huge organization, being part of 6,000 other people here. It made me see why I joined with this awesome organization. Just the vision and everything that's going on here is so exciting. I'm so glad to be here. I think my favorite thing about the, just especially the opening of is kind of like, we are like coal bangers. It's like a sea of blue and it's just so <laughs> motivating. And just, oh, I'm really excited about tonight. I think just to see all the agents from North Carolina and from Wilmington, there's agents I've known for years and work with, but don't see all the time because we're in different offices. So it'll be fun to kind of connect in just a casual environment. I think we're gonna have a great bonding experience. I mean, we're always so busy when we're in and out of the office. Yeah. It's hard to get us all in the same room at the same time, so yeah. have, even though we all live so close. In Vegas, there are lots of places worth going. For Gen Blue top producers, tonight, there's only one place to be the elite event at Hakkasan. How are you? Good, how are you? Are you ready to party tonight? I love seeing everyone every year at Gem Blue because it's like old friends, it's family, and that's Coldwell Banker. I am one of Coldwell Banker's top 30 agents under 30. It feels amazing, I'm like super excited. This is a great party. Bright, ambitious, tech savvy. Words often used to describe top agents under 30 and characteristics highly valued by Coldwell Banker. They're the future of the brand and cause for celebration. To see the support that Coldwell Banker 
has for us is, is tremendous. And, and to connect with the other 30 under 30s and, and to meet them and to really get to know them and share your story with them and, and hear their story, it's, it's been really good, a really great opportunity and I'm, I'm really grateful to be here. Everyone you talk to, you know, they, they really do bleed blue. Ondan sonra da e, aynı yolda yürüdüğümü hissettiğim, aynı kendime benzettiğim, örnek gördüğüm insanlarla bir arada olmak. The brand, the color, he feels in his heart and he is happy to walk on the same with the people which is surrounding his life with the Colwell Banker brand. We want good-hearted people. We want people that are dedicated to truly helping people live the American dream. I'm a Coldwell Banker agent because it's, it's the best company. I mean, there's no question where you want to be. You want to be with the biggest company that's global, that has the best tools, the best agents. It's really a family. We support each other. We refer business to each other. We have a very um, agent-centric leadership team, meaning everything we do has to do with benefiting the agent and their ability to do best by their customer. I'm enjoying my life and my business more being here at Coldwell Banker. High-integrity companies, they attract high-integrity agents, and that's how our brand just keeps moving. Nice to meet good you. Good to meet you. It's about time. I know, right? How are you? Doing great. How are you? Good, good. Congrats on the 30 under 30. Thank you very much. So my uh, favorite part of today was meeting David, who is the Senior Vice President of Marketing for Coldwell Banker. And you are married, do you have kids? I am married yeah. and we have two kids. Our daughter is two and a half. Excellent. Yeah, and our son is five months old. Oh, what are their names? My daughter's name is Charlie Kate. Yeah. And my son's name is Cash. Which Cash? Is the yeah, Cash is a Johnny Cash or a family name? It's a family name, yeah. It's amazing that somebody so high up in the brand cares about my personal life. I have four boys. Cool. Uh, Wyatt is nine, he's named after Wyatt Earp. Okay. Owen, we literally put Logan and White into a name generator on the internet. And turned into Owen. And spit out <laughs> Owen. So we're like, oh, I yeah, love it. that works. And I think it's just what Caldwell Banker stands for. We're trying to better the real estate industry um, while helping the community, bringing people together. The whole Caldwell Banker feeling is just basically love. You know, we've embraced each other from all different cultures, backgrounds. It's really cool to have a bunch of people you can surround yourself with who care about you. The more successful you are, like the more important it is to help those around you achieve success. I can really think back to when I was a brand new agent. Had I not asked the questions and had the support and the help from not only the other agents around me in that office, but the office staff, I would have gone nowhere. I think that the attitude from corporate is huge. If I was a brand new agent and started last month and I walked past him and said, David Marine, he would light up. Yes, hey, how you doing? What's your name? You know what I mean? Like, that's his personality. Every company isn't like that, where um, people are so reachable, if you will. And that's what I feel like is emulated from the, the corporate team to our ownership in North Carolina, to our team. Ask anyone here and they'll tell you, Gen Blue is not just an event, it's a culture. And their culture is what sets them apart. Corporate really cares, they're all, they're all willing to help and, yeah. and further our careers because it's helping the company and the yeah. brand. The camaraderie between David Marine and, and Mike Fisher yeah. and Charlie Young, like you yeah. see that, those relationships. Yeah, so that's why I always talk about when you do what you love, yeah. good things come. Day three of Gen Blue, and it's all come together. The stage is set for today's closing session, a time to honor extraordinary agents making a big impact in their communities, like Sabrina Cohen from Miami Beach. Quadriplegic and paralyzed from the neck down, her cause is to find homes and create community access for the mobility challenged. We are thrilled to present the 2017 Hero of the Year Award to Sabrina Cohen. It's a competitive world out there, and especially in the world of real estate, there's a lot of competition. So my advice to each and every one of you is um, to just find what makes you different and turn it into something really special, because it's possible and life is wonderful. So thank you. Thank you so much. I am so grateful, so grateful to Cabo Banker to doing such an honors to Sabrina. It's really heartwarming. I'm really, really proud of my daughter, Sabrina. I think what you've heard today and connected with is that we all have a story within us. And I encourage you to go home and continue to tell that story. We've had a great conference. 
It's not over yet. Are you ready to have some fun? Woo! All right, we'll see you tonight at the Goo Goo Dolls. Any agent that's considering, you know, should I go? Should I make the investment, you know, to go? Especially a newer agent, maybe. I guarantee that if you attend, I promise you will leave with something that you can do and that you'll be excited to get back and do something. You know, you're surrounded by all these super successful people and you want to emulate that. I think that every time we come, we definitely leave feeling just really proud to be with Coldwell Banker and constantly innovating and caring about their agents and just really being one step ahead of the competition. Getting married in Vegas. What better way to commemorate the Gen Blue experience than a chance to have 6,000 friends at your wedding? For now and forever. For now and forever. I once again pronounce you, husbands and wives, gentlemen, kiss This has been just great for us, just bonding as a team. I had so much fun. I was adopted when I was four days old. Meeting my biological family changed my definition of home because really home is where love is. Any place where love is, is home. My office in Tallahassee is home for me. My colleagues are family members to me. And so that's what my definition of home is and how that changed it.